I glued it on there and then I'm able to stick things on there. I know. Isn't it ingenious? Stop it. Come on. All right. I'm trying to make this not too long of a video. That's close to the ceiling. I don't use much, uh, too much punching. Not too much. Mostly just circles and squares. I kind of like that. All that. Okay. I used to hoard tons of papers. Now I realize white paper in my own color is what I'm starting to enjoy. See, I'm not really too much of a punchy person. Remember those up there? Those are really like 13 years ago. Fiskers. Uh, really quick. You see those? Those are all washing tapes. What's the craze for me about, I'm trying not to move too fast here, guys. I make, um, I buy the binders and then I put my own covers on it. And then I glue on, screw in and glue on little doorknobs. And these are, I already know what's in there, so I don't have to put a name on it. But I saw that, I, I saw a plate and I figured, ah, let me just do this. Rubber stamps in that one next to it. And this one, this long one right here is actually all acrylic uh, stamps or clear. I'll get into more details if I ever make another one. I had just recently tried, uh, started putting, organizing a little bit more. But it was taking away from me having the urge to splat colors on a piece of paper and make it look like something that makes me feel good. Um, that's a uterus that I stitched up by hand and I had a complete hysterectomy literally two and a half weeks ago and I made this and had all my doctors sign my uterus. So I'm, believe it or not, I'm happy. She inspires me because she, this is a queen of, uh, of pincushion, whatever. I keep forgetting her name. But she makes me feel good. I know it's odd, but I feel like that sometimes. And when I look at her, she's still the queen. So I'm still the queen, no matter how I feel. And that's my hubby. I know, he looks like Jackie Chan. But no, he's not. That's my boy. That's my man. Those are my children, my twins, my, my oldest, 26, my youngest, I mean my daughter, my twins, my other son. Whatever. Yes, I used to be a clown. Gee, I wonder why she likes so many colors. Okay. So that's something I just changed and moved around. I love, love, love to see colors. It's a necessity for me. It inspires me. Some people really love everything to look white and closed and cleansed and whatever. No, I, I need a little bit of clutter and a little bit of messiness to tell me, sit down, sit down, do something, please. When I see other people show me their area, it gives me really good ideas. Yeah, that's a wet and dry stamp cleaner. And it's actually made on a, a baby wipe container. You know the ones, the portable ones, the traveling ones? The lighting is not that good, so I apologize for that. Up there, I just started uh, putting things up there. When I look up, I remember to do something about it. That I made. I'll get closer to that eventually. These are CD racks on the wall. And I put my distress inks there. Now, I gotta tell you. Mm, 
I put words on these labels, but if it's all the same color and I don't see something uh, that distinguishes, like I can really see what's in there as far as like a little picture or something cute, like, uh, see this? You see the bumblebee? Automatically, I see that and I quickly think of bee wax. So these pop tops and stuff like that, they pretty much blend in with everything and I don't see it quite well. I'm 100% dyslectic, so I'm extremely visual. There's my nail polish, which reminds me, paint your nails waxy. Okay. I am a lover of little treasure boxes. Okay, yeah, my floor is dirty. Yeah, I'll get to it. Who cares? All right, those are empty because I grabbed a whole bunch. Those are my jelly. Yeah, I was gonna say jelly belly, but no, they're my jelly pins. See it down there? My paint. There's my incense. That's for the fan, the lighting. I stick. Some of the things I really go to, there I nailed it onto the, <laughs> I put little kind of holders right there on the side. There's a ruler, clear ruler. There's a uh, precision knife. And then I have that. And then down here, I haven't filled up these boxes, but I have the simple little go-to things. And then right here, of what it tells me what I need to be doing every month. And there are scraps of papers. Uh, those hooks are to hold, you know what they are, my distress, my iPad charger. Okay, so I hope you were able to be satisfied and get your feelings of, yeah, you can see back there, I haven't finished painting and I may not finish, so I may end up just putting something there to cover it <laughs> but I'm happy eventually I'll get to it I just don't care for it right now that I bought those bracelets for less than a dollar and I have to take it apart and save all those beads but I love this rack because this rack allows me to keep all of my tools of uh, jewelry right there and my my glasses to be able to see this is where I put all the information of YouTubing. Yeah, I use this and I put that on the wet side. Uh, it, you could use any kind. And, and uh, I put it on the wet side, clean my rubber stamps because they're great, and then dry it over here, rub it on there. And this is like pretty much like a felt. You can, you buy the, you can buy the, the cleaning pads for stamps. And then I took them off and I glued them onto a baby wipey thing. This idea was taken from the uh, Frugal Crafter. So this I was trying to tell you. I love these people. They're just so freaky. And uh, it just reminds me what I have to do, what's the next thing I do. And I belong to several sites. So... I do several swaps a month, which makes me so happy. When I was organized, I didn't do a darn thing. Now that I'm not so incredibly organized, I find myself being more productive. So, I love you all. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want me to show you more in depth, let me know. Love, love. Bye. Let's do one of these things. Isn't that delicious? Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Bye-bye.